Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. So in the previous episode we made it into this uh, building here and in this episode we are going to um, loot this building which is where we're going to find the books. So the goal is to find um, some books that we can use to learn about different things to progress uh, through the later game stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the books that I can find that pertain to um, earlier stuff, probably uh, intermediates would be good, and maybe uh, beginners. So any book that's beginners or intermediate, I do hear lots of banging going around me, so I'm kind of wondering if there's uh, zombies trying to get in here. There's a back door here. Oh, somebody's trying to break the back door. Let's let him in. Oh, another key. Anybody out here? Alright, let's just uh, take him out. Ooh, uh, newspaper. Oh, jeez, okay. If, if um, they break the back door, it's going to be hard to tell who's coming in and who's not. So, yeah, we're good. Close the door. Alright, so let's get some books. Um, magazines are pretty easy to get. Ooh, Master Foraging. Nice. I'll take that one, just because I know I'm going to need that one eventually. Uh, we can get um, Carpentry for Beginners, Intermediates there. Somebody breaking this front window? No, I think it's all in other other areas. Okay, so uh, here's trapping. We need trapping books. Um, the books we're going to need the most are going to be trapping and foraging. I'm taking all these books, all these uh, magazines. You can read those and um, they're very quick reads. And they give you specific skills. I only need one of those. I think I already have advanced uh, carpentry. No, I don't. Um, expert foraging. Okay. First aid intermediates. I already have one of those. Um, as you can see, there's like 50 of these books here. These are actually really good for keeping yourself um, from being bored, unhappy, and, and reducing stress. So those are actually really good books to get. Only thing is they actually weigh 0.5 which is very, very uh, heavy for right now. All right, uh, we don't need master electricity. I want to find a magazine for generators. Let me find a generator magazine. Expert mechanics, probably not. Um, yes, forging intermediate. Uh, forging for intermediates. I just need a forging uh, book for beginners. We'll do Cooking for beginners, we'll do fishing, uh, farming for beginners for sure. Gorilla radio, okay, all these. Um, where are we at? Okay, so I can get like five more books. Alright, uh, fishing for beginners, do I have one of those? Fishing, no I don't. Herbalist, definitely get that one. Trapping. Hunters, electricity, um, can only carry a couple more books before I have to go. Okay, I need to get, there's generators right there. And trapping, do I have trapping for beginners? Now oh, they're banging at the door again. Trapping for intermediates, okay. Well, uh, I just need uh, foraging for beginners. We have forging for beginners. Uh, okay. Try to find forging for beginners. Where'd that be at? Uh, there we go. Forging for beginners. Good, good. Uh, I think we have all the books that we came for. Um, at least the early, early books. Uh, let's see. I don't want to get anything else. I think we're good. Other foraging for beginners. Um, okay, we're, we're good for now. Let's uh, get out of here. 
I'll just let the door open so she can kind of stay back a little bit. So we have to come back here eventually. Another key. Okay. Oh, that was a little person here. Oh, there's more people here. Alright, uh, we have farming for beginners. Yeah, I think we do. Okay. Um, I think I think we're in a good spot. So let's uh head out of here and bring the stuff back to the house. Um all these books are just these are perfect for keeping yourself from um becoming depressed. I'm gonna grab these just in case. And I'm full. I can fill up my actual main inventory as well. Let's just grab like uh, a couple of these books here. All right, we're good. We're good for now. Oh yeah, so this is the bookstore. Um, definitely a great place to go. To uh, oh man, I heard him coming. I just didn't know how close he was. Okay. Yeah, all these doors are being broken open. Alright, so this is a really good place to go to get loaded up on books. Um, it's actually getting late. It's actually 610. Ooh, beta blockers. Uh, perfect. Let's make our way. Um, I'm really tired right now. And I'm uh, really um, overexerted. So I'm going to try to avoid fighting as much as possible. Let's grab some food here real quick. Let's eat. Eat all. We'll be uh, full up after this. There we go. We'll uh, drink a drink. This will help us uh, stay healthy. Okay. Let's see, how far away from the the van are we? Okay, I think we're not, there we are. There's the van. Uh, there's a police car. I really want to try this police car out. Let's see if we can find the keys for this. Sometimes they're on nearby zombies. Uh, nothing there. Can we get into this thing? Let's kill this guy first. Okay, let's uh Oh, it's already open. Alright, is there keys? There we go with the keys for this. That's awesome. Oh yes, I'm low on gas, but we're good. This is a very fast car. Right, we actually need to uh switch stuff out. Um you know what let's uh do that real quick. Switch stuff between cars. Hmm, Pangulars. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, put everything we have in the trunk. The trunk is uh, pretty. Pretty spacey. Let's put this whole bag in there. That'll get us going. Oh, wait. What the heck? Let's not do that. Let's pick that up, actually. How do I pick this up? Oh, there we go. Okay. Pick that up. And all this stuff here. Oh, jeez. Okay. This is not a good situation to be in. This is how you die. <laughs> Open the trunk up now. Oh, there's bullets in the trunk. Let's put that in there. Kill this guy. Take some more vitamins. Okay, how much space is in this trunk? Uh, okay, 49. So it's pretty much uh, 50. 
All right, we are tired. We are exerted. I'm gonna grab some uh, gas. And I'm gonna grab some other stuff in here. Um, I'm gonna leave the van parked right here. Uh, we may need it in the future. That's a good place to keep it. As long as I don't run into it. Let's add gasoline. I'm gonna fill this thing up. Where are you going? Oh, we should get all the way around. All right, so we'll add gasoline into this. And hopefully we'll be full. This is a pretty fast car though. All right, let's get in the car. We'll dump off the gasoline cans in here. Yeah, it's actually a good find. Um, these, uh, you can turn the siren on and everything. Oh geez, dude, come on. How are they just finding me? Mm, walkie talkie. We'll use that later. Okay, let's get in. There we go. Bump. So yeah, we can, um, you know what fun thing we could do? We could, uh, turn on the siren. It's actually probably a bad idea here. Let's, uh, get going a little bit more. Yeah, turn on the siren. Let's do, uh, lights. lights number two. What's number three? Okay, we have number three lights. Let's turn on the, uh, the Yelp. Look at this. Watch them all come out here. <laughs> this is funny. Look at all these zombies. Right, let's turn it off. Right, let's stand by. There we go. Yeah, look at that. They all come swarming out of here. If you want to get a large group of zombies together, you just turn that on. Uh, so... Yeah. Let's go the back way. Oh, jeez. They are coming. Wow, even the ones over here are coming. That is definitely a good way to get all the zombies in one spot. Turn this off. Do that. Oh, what we can do? Uh, let's do this. Turn it on. There we go. Now they're going to come to this spot here. And hopefully they'll uh, all... Yeah, look at that. They're going to go in the same spot. That's where the alarm went off. We might have a few stragglers, but uh, they're going to be all drawn to that one spot. Look at this. Uh, even from like this far away. This car is pretty fast. Um, yeah, look at that. It's, this place is cleared out. That's a good way to get this place cleared out. Um, if you want to get gas. That's like the police cars. It's fast. It's a good um, way to keep yourself from uh, being overrun in certain areas. If you have to leave, you can leave pretty quickly. And it also uh, lets you draw large amounts of zombies away from your base, maybe. Alright. This is a good place to get scrap. I think we talked about that already in the, one of the previous episodes about getting the scrap metal. And scrapping those cars that are uh, piled up. Okay, so I think we're good. Yeah, there we go. Let's just park it right here. Alright, we have gas. Um, we have books. I'm gonna uh, just leave everything in here for now. Let's go inside. I have to sleep in here. We have some food. Let's just uh, get some food out of here. Let's uh, drink some water. All right, we need some food. Um, what are we in a mood for tonight? Let's get some uh, tomatoes. Sounds good. Can of tomatoes. Oh, we can eat ramen, but that makes us really unhappy. Right, let's open this up. Open the can of tomatoes. Eat all of it. Alright, so we are very tired. Um, we need to get some sleep. I feel pretty safe right now. This door's blocked. 
Uh, we need to block the other windows up, but that's something we're going to do later. So for now, let's uh, sleep. We may wake up in the middle of the night. We'll see. See how long we sleep till. Probably like in the morning, like five or six in the morning. Oh, seven. Oh, okay, 640. All right, so we are rested. Uh, f we need to get some more food, probably. We'll eat uh, potatoes. Um, I, I like to keep the food, uh, the canned food around longest because it does last long. And uh, it is a good balance when you're actually foraging. You're not eating tons of berries. But yeah, so I think we're good. We're in a good spot now. Uh, we have the books. So let's go read these magazines. Um, I'm going to show you some of these magazines that we have and why they're so important. Let's uh, jump through, climb through. There's so many bodies here. Let's grab some of these bodies. We need to do another burning. Uh, drop it off. I'll do that in uh, one of like, in between the episodes. Uh, just grab these bodies and just uh, run them back. It's kind of tedious and it's kind of boring too to watch that. Let's put this back in here. All right, so look what we got. We um, have some magazines. So uh, this is unread and it helps us make metal containers. So. For instance, let's just grab this book here. Um, this one too. Let's grab this one. All right. So in our crafting inventory, we can look up uh, metalworking. Right now, we don't have very much of metalworking. But when I do read this magazine, and some things um, you can craft things you have to actually build by using the menu like you actually have to once you have this stuff on you you can actually build it by like right clicking and then creating it that way so yeah we don't have that recipe but um if we had all the materials we could actually uh, do a right click I need to get uh, something in my hands that I can craft with metal I, forget, I think metal is uh, the blowtorch is what's what I need for that, but essentially it lets us make uh, metal containers. So like the boxes we have, um, we can make metal ones. Uh, cooking with bread. Thought I heard somebody. So let's uh, read the bread one. This will give us the recipe to make bread. Uh, bread dough. There it is. So we can make bread dough now. Uh, this is all things that require us to make it. So yeah, some things we can make from this screen, some things we have to actually do the context menu and make it from that screen. But once you read these, you don't need them anymore. They're quick reads. They take um, just seconds to read through each one. Like here's a noisemaker. Uh, I don't think I can make a noisemaker though. I, you need to have a good amount of electronics to actually make this. Oh, there's a gunshot. Yeah, so we need to have uh, electronic skill of three, which we don't have that. We probably won't ever have that. I think I just need two in order to make the the uh, thing that I need to make, which is to get the generator going. Let's put in our back. And uh, we need to go bring his books back to the house. Um, I guess we can keep them here. I'm, I'm kind of torn. I like having the stove. But here we have a lot more room. So I might just... Uh, let's um, put the books in here. This, this will be fine for now. Alright, let's get all the books and we'll put them in here. It says 50 space on this one. So we'll put the books on this side and we'll put the, uh, the uh, magazines on the other side. So one of the best ones is the uh, herbalist. It lets you make herbal remedies. Um, so when you forge, you can forge for herbs. 
and the herbalist will let you create like a, like a poultice so you can make like a special uh, thing to help cure fevers or help help if you have um, like a sickness of some sort so the herbalist is one that I typically read or look for um, with a high priority because in the end this is like all you have you don't have bandages I mean you can get bandages um, pretty easily but finding like uh, medicine to cure things is uh, very very hard to come by so I definitely like those um, the angler magazines are pretty good they teach you different uh, types, types of uh, things like how to make fishing rods we haven't read this one So these uh, magazines take seconds, but the books, they, those take uh, days. Uh, I used to do it at nighttime, if, if I'm like, have time, downtime at night, like if I wake up too early and I have like, you know, four hours between now and and sun, sunrise, uh, I just click on the, uh, start reading, click on the old uh, three, three X speed. And that usually does a good job of getting me some time to kill while I read these things. All right, so this one is a uh, pretty good. This uh, one about generators is really good. It teaches you how to do generator, uh, use generators. So you do need some electronic skills, but now you can actually use a generator and um, hook it up to things. Whereas before you would be able to do that. So this is another one that's really important for long-term survival. Okay, now we can uh, probably get ready for the long trip to where we're going to go. I'm going to just uh, keep some of these books here. I'm probably going to take the truck with me. Uh, the police car would be fun. One thing I like to do is take the police car and park it somewhere with the sirens going. And you can get just massive amounts of zombies. Um, so it is good in that aspect as well. If you don't need to use the police car anymore... Uh, it's good to just have it sit somewhere with the sirens on, drawing everything in an area to that place. So they won't bother you, they'll just stay in that one area. Eventually the battery does run out in the car, so that's a thing. Alright, let's see. I think we're uh, we're good. Alright, I'm going to start reading um, foraging books. So I'm going to take this book with me to the house and uh, I'm going to have to go get some food. I'm going to have to, uh, getting food would be really good. Let's climb through. Oh, my, uh, my water bottle's in my bag. All right, kitchen knife. I think we'll just hang on to that for now. All right, let's see. We have chips. We do get some ammo. We uh, found some ammo. Just a box of ammo, which is 20 308 bullets. Typical to find in cars or in police stations and police cars. Uh, these books are going to be useful. We'll just leave these books in here for now. Alright, let's uh, climb the rope. So in this, from this place here that we're at, um, we can definitely, uh, we can definitely go ahead and um, make sure this place is uh, fully secured. Uh, making some more of these walls, these um, log walls, we can do foraging here. It's pretty close. It's like right across the street, or if we go further down across the parking lot, there's also uh, places to forage. So we do have uh, some viability here. We are away from water. And water can be really fun um, with the fishing. You know, putting a couple points in fishing, uh, you do get a steady source of food that way as well. Between foraging and fishing and trapping, you can pretty much sustain yourself long term. Farming does work, but it takes so long to get farming going. All right, uh, we'll just make this completely magazines. 
gonna put just miscellaneous junk in here. All right, that's inventory management 101. <laughs> now we're uh, we're gonna have to go and um, work on our next step. So it's uh, midday. Um, I'm gonna go run some food. Let's go find some uh, food places. Uh, there's a couple places that we pass by, which I'm a little concerned now that they're covered in zombies. I'm gonna run and try to go to these houses. These houses have, have food too. There's a guy over here. I just saw him. Let's go loot some houses. Uh, starting with this one right here. I think we've maybe gone through this one already. Might have gone through this one already. Some zombies in here. Yeah, got him. Alright, let's see. What do we got? Lots of canned foods. Yeah, we're going to start walking through some of these houses and uh, grabbing some stuff. Uh, I'll take a bowl. Uh, aluminum foil, that's mostly for uh, crafting. You wanted to craft a uh, bomb or something with a specific trait that you picked in the beginning. I think we're good on uh, frying pans, macaroni and cheese. Uh, take some vinegar, some sugar. Uh, some pasta. I wish I can grab this. I wish I can just grab this. Uh, it's just so heavy. How much does this thing weigh? Let's see. Uh, screwdriver, it weighs 20. I, I would not be able to get very far with that. So electrical skill 3. If I can grab this, I can take it back to the uh, base. Yeah, so unfortunately, um, you, you can pick these up. But it does require electrical skills. Refrigerators. Um, you have to, we have to remove it. I think it's it's just as heavy. I mean, I couldn't imagine just hauling a refrigerator down the street in the middle of a apocalypse. We'll eat all those. And we'll eat all these. Uh, there's a freezer. Ice cream. Nice. All right. So you can find some books in here. Um, here's a book. We'll just, we'll just read it. Make sure we're uh, fully topped up. We'll keep those running. Ooh, some sheets. Uh, I guess we can use some sheets. All right. Lots of planks because they broke down everything in the house. Much space do we got? Uh, we got some space. Let's turn the TV off. Um, so you can uh, take these TVs apart to. You can disassemble it. Oh, that's that's a table. But we can uh, turn this off for now. Yeah, it's. They used, when you start the game, there's like talking and stuff because the apocalypse just happened. But uh, at this point in time, nobody's left. We're one of the few survivors. There we go. There's a cookie. I'll eat that. Popcorn, peanut butter, tea bag, kettle. I don't think I have a saucepan. I don't think I have a pot. Let's grab one. All right. Nine millimeter rounds. We're getting full here. Let's grab this. More coffee. I'm I'm finding coffee. Uh, it's coffee is sometimes rare in this game. But this this particular instance doesn't seem like it's that rare. So here's some carrot seeds. Um, I'll do that. We'll we'll get into farming a little bit. The dead mouse. Um, you can if they're just if it was fresh, you can cook this thing, put it in like a stew, and eat the mouse. Um, if you do uh, trapping as well inside of uh, like the city, 
you can uh, trap rodents. Oh. How'd this guy get in here? That's weird. He must have just ran in there. Let's put this on us before uh, he attacks us. He just, he must have just ran in here. I was just like, I, even, I didn't see him at all. The ninja zombie. How do I get out of this place? There it is. Okay. Alright, let's go look at this shed here. Then we'll head back. Um, well, it's still kind of early. Oh no. Okay. So we lost our weapon. I do have a, uh, yeah, it's broken. Hmm. I have a knife on me, though. I can use a knife. Oh, uh, the kitchen knife's not bad. They're not too... Oh, this one has the generator in it. And the fishing tackle. Okay. So, we need to get this generator. Um, this thing's like 10 pounds, I think, or, or maybe 20. But uh, this is what we would do. Now we have this connect generator button option. Yeah, take generator. Let's see how much this thing weighs. Oh, uh, yeah, it's um, 12. I'll try to make it, but if I uh, encounter something, I'm going to have to drop it. Like, let's just try to walk past this guy over here. We'll just sneak past him. I can't run because I'm really encumbered. Another person here. Yeah, if we get behind him, we'll be fine. Hopefully there's no one like right behind this fence. Good. Yeah, let's grab this generator and let's head back. This will uh definitely cause us to be um tired quicker. But generators are nice. Um you can put them on the roofs. Like this place, you can put them on the roof. Or you can put them outside. They do draw attention. Put the generator in the back of the car. Can I do that? Let's put it in the back seat. Uh, do I put it in this car? That's rough. Rough call. Um, I might just put it in here. Can I put it in here? I can't drop this in here. Really? Driver's seat, um, rear right seat. Guess I can't put it in here. Can I put it in the trunk? Okay, goes in the trunk. All right, that's good. Um, we're gonna need to get our other axe. Um, I'm going to hang on to this one. I think I can still fix it. It's the other axe that we had. Let's see. Let's see what we have. I think we have duct tape, maybe. It becomes really hard to fix after a while. I think duct tape's the best I can do. So, how much duct tape do I need? I need uh, one more. Okay, we'll just put this in here. Why can't I put that in here? I don't understand. That's weird. That goes in there. This does not fit in there? It's uh three pounds. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it's uh it's a favorite. Okay, unfavorite. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Alright, so I guess we're uh, kind of stuck now. We just have one. It's not too, too bad. It's, um, this thing's kind of full, isn't it? Like, it's got full durability. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good condition. So we can uh, favorite this one. 
drop off this food. Alright, um, before we finish this episode, I do want to show off a little bit about... Alright, so if you make this your base, this is your home base. Um, you have to go across the street to forge. So it's kind of deep in there, but you can uh, you can right click then you can forge deep in this, this forest area here. And because we have herbalists, um, we do get this extra medicinal plants um, scavenging but focus now. So we can actually focus on specific things within this game. Um, materials is the main thing you get, like rocks and sticks, which is not terribly bad. Um, you can definitely use uh, those things to craft things like uh, axes. You can make your own axe if you need to have a way to chop down trees. But um, foraging this should allow us to get medicinal plants now. So this is what I typically do long term. I get a lot of crafting stuff from here. This is 100% full still. Okay, must have not gotten anything. We got some branches. So yeah, let's see if we can get some medicinal plants. Um, okay, we got berries. So it says berries fresh. Um, a high enough skill you can tell if they're poison berries because sometimes they're poison. Our skill is low now, but um, once you get a high enough foraging skill, you can tell if the berries are, are poisonous or not. Um, if they're if they are in uh, good berries, this is a good way to sustain yourself um, in the long term. So you spend a lot of time foraging uh, these areas. The certain areas um, you can forage once per day. So like this area says 85% full. It's like a big square. I'm not sure how wide the square is. Maybe it's like a 16 by 16, um, where the, one of these like little little small sections here is like one square. But if you go down further, um, you can come over here maybe, and then, yeah, you can forge over here. So you have to like, kind of just work your way down the road and forge different areas. Be careful that there's no zombies inside of here. So that's another way you can die easily if you get stuck in uh, this area. Especially if you don't have the skill that we have, uh, which is um, one of our traits, which is Lumberjack. But uh, it gives us the Axeman trait and also gives us the ability to move through forests faster. So those two traits help us when foraging long term. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. Um, I'm going to have to gather these bodies up and kind of put them in an area. Clean this place up. Get rid of this annoying fly sound. I'll probably do that um, until it gets dark. Although it is raining now. Uh, days that it rains. Um, or if you get injured severely. Those are good days to read. I'll probably just spend some time reading. And getting my uh, skill for foraging up. I'll just pass the time during that until I get tired. And then just sleep. Making sure nobody tries to break into the base. So that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do, leave a like. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.